Emulent stock showed some strength yesterday, the 17th of July 2023, when it disclosed that um, it had sold uh, 30 units of its uh, commercial electric, electric uh, vehicles to uh, Ireland's uh, Newgate. And also on Friday, the 14th of July, it also disclosed that it has uh, transferred uh, 30, 300 um, uh, commercial electric, electric vehicles to its uh, Mississippi, Mississippi plan for final assembly. And also, as well as of uh, the 29th of uh, June, it disclosed that it has uh, recorded its uh, first revenue that came from sale the, from this kind that came from the sale of uh, 222 electric uh, cargo vans. And uh, we are uh, also seeing that um, the stock has continued to move sideways, if not uh, trying to find a bottom, trying to find a bottom, you know. But um, the company will continue the stock will continue to show this sort of pattern maybe you know move sideways you know but towards a downward bias because you know among other things the company is uh, in need of funds and at the same time as well it's also popular and as such um you know when you marry that popularity and the need of funds yes the funds will continue to come because the uh, hedge funds know that um, if it's popular, then they can redeem their investments, and which is what they are doing using legal, legal uh, rules, safe harbor rules, using all those things, all those rules to get their money. You know, so that's the nature of the game. They're not going to get this money from the banks. You know, it has to come from uh, hedge funds. Hedge funds, uh, you, know, you know, say what you think about them. You know, they are uh, very good at. Um, helping a lot of uh, organizations a lot of institutions a lot of um, businesses a lot of uh, startups name them all these big companies you and I have uh, are looking at today they all got their resources from hedge funds or institutions like that you know so it's just that right now you know um, NULN hasn't um, gotten the traction yet hopefully we believe you know it's gonna get there that's why we are involved in the stock you know among sort of things so um, given all of that uh, we continue to expect um, yes this sort of sideways uh, movement with a downward bias to continue to occur you know we can probably say that uh, uh, roughly speaking maybe it has uh, probably reached the bottom but we, what we also seeing is that um, the sort of volume that I uh, recorded yesterday the, the 17th uh, which is around uh, 256 million even though it's uh, indicating it's uh, below average is still a huge amount of volume so that's also an indication of its uh, popularity so with uh, with uh, popularity uh, well what are, rather with this uh, sort of volume you know it, uh, what you definitely get is amongst other things scalping you know a lot of involvement you know um, heavily traded you know heavily traded so you're not really gonna get um, um maybe not a lot of aggression there isn't there wasn't a lot of aggression in this in, in this play you know we haven't um really seen it you know or rather aggression is what is needed to drive this uh stock higher and indeed yes you know um there, there there's no there's no incentive to be aggressive uh, with um, emulent stock because um it's popular and the hedge funds have the keys they have the they have uh, the means they have the resources to sell it short they have the resources to eat your aggression if you get aggressive you know if you organize to get aggressive or you get aggressive on your own you know when you get aggressive the you, the bid the the the, the 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 price you know goes up you know you are willing to um you're, you're willing to buy the stock with uh, market orders so whatever it whatever price comes up you're willing to pay that you know that's aggression so when you do that then you you, you also expose yourself you know so that aggression hasn't been there in a long time you know on at some point it might it might result but uh, maybe on very quiet days that might be the case but right now we haven't seen that with uh ML and stock and um we're looking at its uh, one day chart. We have uh, upper projections of um, $1.4, four point three six, three point two, three point three two, four point four point, uh, rather five point two four, and all the way towards. Uh, 
so all the way towards 8.11 so 1.4 dollars is uh, almost 10 times from where it is right now but you know never say never never say never you know things could suddenly things can suddenly change you know this uh, aggression I'm talking about this um, this uh, aggression I'm talking about it can suddenly um, you know leak out from somewhere you know if, 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 if it suddenly goes quiet with the stock you know which I you know at some point it might happen if it happens then there's a good chance that um, um aggressive traders may come back to you know take it up from where it is right now but um there isn't any incentive to be aggressive because uh the sharks and the whales are out there to eat you up you know that's amongst other things you know why the stock is uh just been you know constantly moving sideways uh with a downward bias you know so i see what you make of MELN and i will definitely continue to update you thank you very much for watching this video